Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Konoj Roy. Question number 8, 17.3. A piece of wire length is 104 is when to form a trapezium. So it means I'm talking about this part, this trapezium when we take all the sides, the length is 104. It gives us the perimeter. I can write here the perimeter of this figure is all the sides y plus 5x and 5x plus 5x and plus 6x plus y and that is equals to 104 so this is the first equation and what they ask express y in terms of x so from this i can do this y and this y to y 5x 5x and this is coming 16x is equals to 104 2 16 4 you can divide the whole equation by 2 and it's coming y plus 8x is equals to 52 and y is equals to 52 minus 8x this is the first equation they ask y in terms of x we have done it okay when you move further it's coming x like we have done this part expressed in terms of y like in terms of x show that the area is equals to this part okay we need to find the area of the trapezium. Remember the area of the trapezium is sum of parallel sides a plus b and divided by 2 and multiplied by height. So the sum of parallel side means this is 2, this is a and this is b. So a is given, b is given, but the height is not given. The height is this part. This is the height. And I need to find the height. So one thing, I can make two right angle triangle. This is y. So this will be also y. So this y is used. So 6x is left. This 6x will divide into two parts. This is 3x. And this is also 3x. Because the total is 6x. So when you observe this part, you can see there is a right angle triangle with 3x and 5x and the height is here. When you use Pythagoras theorem like uh, 5x squared is equals to height squared plus 3x whole squared 25x squared is and minus 9x squared is equal to h squared. This is coming 16x squared is equal to height squared and height is coming 4x so i can write this is 4x and we got the value of the height is 4x now we can put all the values in the given formula area is equals to a is y one side and b is 6x plus y divided by 2 and into height is 4x now what we need to do we need to just simplify this y and this y is 2y plus 6x divided by like this 2 I can cancel by this 4 so it's coming only 2x the area is coming still you can simplify this is 4xy plus 6 times 2 is 12x squared what is the value of y we got from here we can substitute here now now, if any substitute the value of y is coming, so y like area is equals to 4x, the y is 52 minus 8x, and then 12, this is sorry, this is 12x squared, and 12x squared. So the area of this figure is coming when you multiply, is coming 20, like 52, you can simplify. Uh, 52 using calculator. The 52 multiplied by 4 is coming 208. That's in the question required 208x minus 8 times 4, 32x squared and plus 12x squared. When you simplify, area is coming 208x minus 32 minus uh, 12. Well, it's coming minus 20x squared and we have proved it. First of all, we have done the, this part. 
Now find the value of x and y for which a is maximum. When you want a is maximum, we need to differentiate dA upon dx and put 0 to find the value of x. When your differentiate is coming to 0, 8 minus 40x. And to, let, to get the maximum value, you write 0 here. 0 is equals to 208 minus 40x. And 40x is equals to 208. When you simplify, the x is coming 208 divided by 40. 208 divided by 40 is coming 5.2. So the x is 5.2. Uh, when centimeter, when the area is at this point is maximum. Find the value of x and y. x is this, so if you want to find uh, like uh, y, what you need? You put the value of x in the given here. Find y. y is equals to 52 minus 8 into 5.2. And you multiply this with like 8. This coming 52 minus 41.6 and when you minus with 52 is coming 10.4 and that's we have 10.4 is 5. So x is 5.2 and y is 10.4 centimeter when the area is maximum. So by this way we have done question number 8. Question number 9. A rectangle uh, block has like Rectangle block means like we should have uh, one here and second is here like rectangle and the rectangle block means uh, like this point, this one, this one. This is not a cube actually, it's a rectangular, it's a little bit like uh, I have drawn like a cube, it's a rectangle. This is x and this is 2x. Here, uh, the sur total surface area uh, dimension the blocks of x, 2x, and height. Okay. So, uh, and show that the height is coming this. So, once again, the surface area is 108. And is a rectangular block, not a cuboid. So, remember, first of all, we should know the formula to find the surface area. The surface area of the like uh, cuboid is a cuboid is 2 into length into breadth plus 2 into length into height plus 2 into breadth into height like you have three dimensions length breadth and height length breadth and height this is height is already given okay so surface area is 1 0.08 and we have to convert like show that height is coming this okay we can move two times length into width x into x into 2x plus two times x into h plus two times 2x into h okay let's see uh 1.08 uh this is coming 2x squared is 4x squared this is 2xh uh, and this is coming 2 times 2 is 4xh. Now you have to make h of the subject. So 1.08 4x square should move left hand side is minus 4x square. And what is common here? 2x is common. So 2x is sorry, h is common. So what is left? Or oh, still you can do it. 2 and 4 is coming all together. Uh, 6 x h so this 6 x will divide in like in left hand side so we can write uh, 1.08 minus 4 x squared divided by the 6 x and that's the value of h and we have done this part like to prove okay this we have already done the shown we have done it now an express uh, the volume of the block in terms of x. So it means uh, uh, the volume of the block is like very simple. Volume is length into breadth into height. So volume length is x, breadth is like uh, 2x, and the height is we can take the whole value. This whole value is the height. Yes, 1.08 
minus 4x square upon 6x. This way, x and x cancel out. We have volume here. Volume is equals to x with 1.08 when, like with this 2 times 1 and 2 times 3, we can simplify. So, x is 1.08 is x with this and minus 4 times x it is coming for x and q. We can see x is only 1 and this and divided by 3. Even you can uh, like uh, divide uh, the 3 by each number, but this is also the way we can just uh, got the value of volume in terms of x. Or you can even write like this 1 upon 3, 1.08 x minus 4 x cube. This is also the way you can write. So now, or you can uh, divide this by both the numbers and you can solve it. Find the value here. Find the value of x to, uh, that makes the volume maximum. So it means what we need to do here, we need to differentiate the volume dv upon dx. So here, like uh, when you differentiate, normally we do not consider the like uh, coefficient that should be outside. I'm just taking this outside. When you differentiate this part is coming only 108. And when you differentiate this part is coming 12 x squared. Remember, we never use like constant term the coefficient in differentiation. This, this I just made it outside. When you simplify or like what's coming here. Uh, okay, we need to find like put the value 0. I just put 0 here. And this 1 upon 3. You just need to copy 1.08. In the bracket I'm writing. Okay, what can I do now? I should do it here. So this one upon three multiplied by zero is zero. So it's coming zero is equals to one point zero eight and minus twelve x squared. Twelve x squared is equals to one point zero eight. X square is equals to 1.08 divided by 12. When you divide and take the root, what's the value? You can find the value is coming uh, 1.08 divided by 12 is coming 0 0.09. And when you take the under root of 0 0.09, this is in like a 0 0.3 so x is coming like plus minus 0 0.3 but remember x is the size so we always take the positive value centimeter okay this is the value of x when the volume is maximum so now what they asked to find uh find the value of x that makes the volume is maximum this is very simple like we got the value where volume is maximum so by this way we have done question number nine in question number 10 uh, you can see uh, this upright triangular prism. Uh, what do you mean by triangular prism with up like uh, with the triangular base is also given here triangular base. You can see our uh, ABC and right angle is at B. So it means at the base you have a right angle triangle here and here is also a right angle triangle. And when we join all the lines like here this one, this one, and this one, it's the prism. But the prism definition is what? That the base and the top is always the same. So, and the volume of the prism is always equals to base area into height. And the height is this one. And this is a base, like triangular base. Okay, now what is required here? This angle, like if I draw here, this right angle triangle once again, here. This is 90 degree and B is here, A is here and C is here. So it means the AB is 5x. This is 5x and here you can see the BC is 12x. When you use Pythagoras theorem, uh, you will get the answer uh, 13x. You can you have to use the formula like height, hybrid square and 5x whole square and plus 12x whole square so you will get the answer 13x okay 
uh what we need the sum of the length of all its edges is 180 degree like how many edges this is 12 this is 5x this is 3 13x so this is also 13x this is 12x this is 5x and the height is not given so if this is height and this is height there are three times height so we when we add three times height 2 times 5x, like 2 times 5x is 10x. I can write it 2 times 5x, 2 times 12x, 2 times 12x, 2 times 12x, and 2 times 13x. This is equals to 180 degree, like centimeter. So, like from this way, here, and show that the volume is okay. So, first of all, we need to find the height. What is height? Like h in terms of x, we can do this is coming uh, 10x, 24x, and 26x equals to 180. So, 3h plus this is 50 and this is coming 60x, 180. Uh, I can divide the whole equation by 3 h plus 3 to the is 6x six equals to 3 6 8 is 18 so h is equals to 60 minus 20x like when the height of the prism is given so we can find the volume of the prism the volume of the prism is base area into height so what's the base area actually base area is a triangle like the triangle half into base into height area like base area is equals to half into base is 12x and height is 5x so all together is coming to 6 times 12 so it's coming 30x squared is the base area now base uh, volume is equals to base area into height base area is 30x squared and the height is here height is 60 minus 20x now when we multiply here this coming 3 6 times is 18 and 2 0 x squared and 3 to the is 6 p and 0 is 600 and x cubed so we have done and we have like proved here you can see the volume of this uh like prism is coming 1800 x squared minus 600 x cubed now what we need here this is the first part we have done Second part is find the volume, like value of x for which uh, volume is maximum. So what we need, we need to differentiate dv upon dx with respect to x is coming, when I multiply it's coming 3600x and this is coming 1800x squared. So I need to put the value 0 is equals to 3600x minus 1800x squared. Now we just need to we just need to like uh, simplify to get the value of uh, x. So now, so eighteen hundred x square is equals to, or you can write uh, minus thirty six hundred x equals to zero. When you divide by eighteen hundred, it's coming x square. Or uh, I mean, yeah, x square minus two x is equals to zero. X is common. X minus two. So x is equal to zero, and x is equals to two. There are two possible values. One thing, x cannot be zero because this is the length. So we reject this part because the length cannot be zero. So this is x centimeter. This is the value of x when the volume is maximum, and this is the value of x. So we have done the b part. This is the P power result. So by this way, we have done question number eight, nine, and ten. I hope this is, this video is useful for you. If you think yes, please share with your friends, and wait for the next video. Thank you so much, and have a nice day.